When Elisha, in the book of Malachim, in the book of Kings, when his master and teacher, Elio Anavi Elijah, goes up to heaven in a chariot, Allah Besaira Shamaima, he says, uh, just before he rends his garments, he says, Avi, Avi, Rechavi, Solo for Russia, my father, my father, the chariot of Israel and its rider. Rashi tells us right here in this week's Parsha on the incredible words of the Shema, Vishinantam Levanecha, that you need to teach your children, your sons. And we know, Rashi says, that students are considered like children. But we also know, Rashi says, that teachers are like fathers. And the proof for it is that Elisha refers to his Torah teacher, to his master, Eliyahu, Elijah, as Avi Avi. Yet the Rebbe asks, why does Rashi quote the second half of the verse? To make that point, all you got to do is say that Elisha referred to his father, as Avi, to his teacher, Eliyahu, as Avi Avi. Why mention Rechav Yisrael, the chariot of Israel? And also, it doesn't say Ufar Rashav, it doesn't say in its rider, it says Vigoymer, meaning, and the rest of the verse, etc. Either mention all of it or none of it. Why is any of it relevant? Says the Rebbe, an incredible lesson in Torah education. The ultimate way that a teacher should teach their students is that they become Rechav Yisrael, the chariot of Israel, meaning... We act as a chariot, as a conduit, to give them the tools, not to force them and coerce them and um, hold their hands as they're riding, but to give them the tools to understand the study of the Torah, the Talmud, the Mishnah, the Hasidus. In other words, give them what they need to be a true student, to be a true spiritual son, but that they can open up the books themselves because they have the tools to delve into the depth of the Torah and to extract the, the beauty that exists within it, and to extrapolate the teachings. But the goimer, etc. Meaning there are times, it's not primary, but there are times where that's not enough. It's not enough to give your students the tools because they're just not in that space where they're capable of learning via tools. They need you to hold their hand like a rider. So again, it's not mentioned deliberately, just the goimer, etc. But it's a reminder to teachers that no two students are alike. Sure, most of them just need tools and even providing the tools, that's what makes a teacher unique, father-like, because they can give you the unique tools that are good for you, but there are times that the tools don't do it and they need the teacher to give them the extra time, energy, effort, involvement to hold their hand, to get to understand the beauty of Yiddishkeit. And that's the responsibility of a teacher. And when they do it right, they earn the title of being the father of these students. Let it sink in.